Florida A&M Rattlers. And here come the Rattlers. We have two good teams here, and I'll be honest with you, I really don't know what to expect from this game. Florida A&M is lucky to have such a playmaker and leader at safety. And in what should be a close game, I think he'll make the big play in the end to put his team in position for the victory. You know me, I decided my pick a couple of days ago. Florida A&M in this one. The pregame festivities are over, and we're just about set to get this game underway. Kicks it away. Number five takes it to 15. Now let's see what kind of success this offense can have as they come out onto the field for the first time today. Guys, all week the defense has been trying to figure out a way to stop this game-breaking receiver. What do you think about this matchup? Brad, simply put, you can't stop this guy. This defense is going to just have to use a variety of formations as well as double teams to try to slow him down. Otherwise, they're going to be in for a long day. Hey, if they think they can stop him, they're crazy. This kid is way too talented to be shut down. Watch him have a tremendous game. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 26-yard line. Six-yard line. to the left side wants to throw outside and he pulls it down they pick Number up solid five, yardage there the yeah nice little Eight pitch and catch there the wideout was able to find a little open space in the defense and the quarterback was able to get him the ball for a good pickup first, first down 10, ten yards to go on the 36 yard line Russell on the option. Pitches back. Broke away from one. And he's tackled at the 40-yard line. Smith gets about four yards on the play. That'll make it second down. Second it's second down. Seconds. Ball on the 40-yard line. Russell is back in the gun. Russell steps back to pass. Across the middle. His receiver has it. Brought down at the 44. Good pitch and catch there on second down. Yep, it was good enough to get him the first down. That's just a nice play. First they line up at the 44. It's first down. They're lining up in the 5-2. There's the play fake. Russell lets it go. Got him on the run. He's all the way down to the 19. And guys, you can just feel the momentum building with this drive. That's their third first down on this drive alone, Coach. Yep. We all know how important momentum is in college football. This defense really needs to step up and get some of it back. First and 10. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 19. Florida A&M brings in their nickel package. Russell hands it off. No, play fake. He's in trouble. He's sacked at the 26. We've got a second and long. Russell hasn't thrown a bad one this drive. Looks. He tosses it short. He snags it. Maybe three yards that time on the pass. Third it's third down. It's 14 to go. All in the 23. The defense lines up with six DB. Drops back to pass. He steps up. Looking. 
He throws it. He breaks it. Knocked out of bounds at the one-yard line. Good job of attacking the coverage to keep the drive alive. That was a great-looking pass to move the sticks on third down. We'll see what First they can do goal. in the red zone. Ball on the one-yard line. Let's see if they can take this one in for six. He tackles him for a loss. Second They're four goal. yards away. Here we go. They're crowding the line. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. Spin move. And he tackles him hard at the three-yard line. Third and goal from the three-yard line. Looks like they're going to try to power this one in. They'll give it off here. Touchdown, BCC. Nice run and a score by the halfback. And a nice call by the coach there. Just give it to your main man anytime you're near the goal line. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he tacks on the extra point. Less than two to go in our first quarter of play. The score, Bethune-Cookman, seven. Florida A&M, nothing. kickoff and it's a short kickoff number seven takes it at the 21 now we'll get to see how this quarterback can do today as he comes out of the field for the first time they'll go to work at the 33 on the 33 yard line florida a m comes out with five receivers he passes it and it's the senior Brought down at the 39-yard line. So they pick up a few with a pass play, Coach. Yeah, it was. I like plays like these. As long as you're moving forward and not backward, you're doing pretty good. From their own 39-yard line. On the Second and four coming up here. Florida A&M lines up with a shotgun set. They'll run the option. Here comes the pressure, and they make the stop at the 39. Third it's third down and four to go. Ball, Ball on the 39. 39-yard line. The Rattlers line up in a goal line formation. They didn't snap the ball in time. Dead ball. The way of game. On the offense. Five-yard penalty. Still I think they just had down. some trouble getting the right play in there. Third Here's nine. third and nine. Ball on the 34-yard line. Chester back to throw. He's looking for his man. Caught. He's got an opening. And they finally push him out at the 39-yard line. What an amazing catch, first down. Boy, Brad, you said it. That is a big-time play there. Spectacular catch and great body control there on the long pass reception. Right. 
First and, First ten. and ten. Ball, Ball on the 40-yard line. Yard line. From the gun. Feeds it to the back. And they'll bring him down behind the line. So the halfback loses about two on the run. Second it's second down and 12, 12 to go. Ball, Ball on the 42-yard line. Yard line. Chester drops back to pass. Looking. He delivers. And it's incomplete. incomplete they almost got to him that time. Even though they didn't sack him, the pressure was still enough to force a bad pass. If you can get in there and disrupt the pocket, then the quarterback is going to have a tougher time getting the ball to his playmakers. The defense will try to stop this third down as they were unsuccessful the first time on this drive. Chester with the option. Looks. Charles. Hits him in the backfield. A loss of about six. And that'll be the end of the first quarter with our score. Bethune-Cookman, seven. Florida A&M, nothing. Fourth and long. The Rattlers are lining up to punt it away. Williams is the deep man awaiting the return. Taylor punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Williams signals for a fair catch. Well, I'll tell you guys, a passing game was sure on target during their last drive. And the quarterback had great protection by his offensive line. When he gets time, he could pick you apart. The, the offense will start at the 24. We'll start the drive at the 24-yard line. First and 10. Russell lines up in the shotgun. for a loss. Second and 12 coming up here. They'll knock him down for a loss. from their own 20-yard line. Third down. The defense comes out in the dime package. He's looking to pass. Rolls right. He's looking. Russell gets taken down for the sack. There's nothing stopping the defense from getting the sack there, Coach. It's tough for a quarterback to throw the football when he has that kind of rush coming at him. Be the return man. Number three, back to the return. Number 38 hunts it, and he didn't get much distance on it. Hayward fields it to 46. So the offense takes over. Return. They'll try to figure out this defense. They forced them to punt the last time they had the ball. They line up at the 42s. It's first down. First Chester comes to the line with three wide. First down, look at the throw. No one open, so he's going to run. Oh, man, did he take a hit. Second it's second down. down. Ball on the 33-yard line. Chester with three wide receivers. Chester with a nice play fake. He's under pressure. It is he throws. Incomplete pass. The pass pressure that time, and he was forced into throwing before he wanted to. Wow, the kid just avoided getting smacked on that one. Third and they ball. line up at the 33. The 33 yard yard down. Down. The Rattlers set up in the gun. The 
option left. Now he pitches it. They'll bring him down at the 31-yard line. The big fella took it and plowed for the first down. He was just following his blocks, and hey, they're moving the sticks. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 31-yard line. They line up in the shotgun. McCullough tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Second, it's second down and 11 to go. Ball, ball on the 32-yard line. The Rattlers with four receivers. Chester drops to throw. Looking under heavy pressure. And he's going to be sacked. Third the offense faces another third down as they line it up. Yard line. Florida A&M sets up with four receivers, throws back across field, catches it. Tackle made at the 19-yard line. Florida A&M will take a timeout. That's their first of the half. Here's a look at the offensive production statistics brought to you by Coke. The Rattlers come out in the shotgun. Here's the option. And now he pitches it. Tackle at the eight-yard line. The Rattlers are going to take a timeout, and they'll have one timeout left. A touchdown away from a tie. Chester comes to the line with three wide. Drops back to pass. Guns it to the end zone. The corner comes up with a nice play defending his own end zone. I'm not so sure he could have come away with that interception that time. Good play, but I bet he's kicking himself for not catching that football. Second it's goal. second and goal. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. The Rattlers set up in the gun. Chester on the option. He fakes a pitch. King tackles him at the seventh. Third Let's see how the quarterback ball handles this one. It's third and goal from the seventh. The Rattlers with four receivers. Over the middle. Got it to the senior. Roland brings him down at the four. A pickup of about three. Fourth down. They'll line this up, and it'll be about a 21-yarder. It's up. Well, that's a tough break to these guys who are looking to put three points up on the board. From their own 20-yard line. It's first down. First and ten. McMillan brings him down for a loss, taking back a yard. Second, Second down. 11. Ball on the 19-yard line. Yeah. 
give to the tailback. He's tackled at the 21. Folks, let's pause now as we've reached the end of the first half. Our score at halftime, Bethune-Cookman, 7, Florida A&M, nothing. Bethune-Cookman is set to kick this ball off to start the second half. Here's the kick. Number seven fields it at the 22. Time once again for this offense to come back out and start another drive. The offense will take over at the 36. First and 10. Florida A&M in a four-wide set. It's a direct snap. Charles tackles him for a loss on the play. One, two, three. Kirk, he might be out for the count. Oh, what a hit. You know, at the end of the year, you're going to look back at this and remember this is one of the hits of the year. That guy can really bring it. Second, Second down, 12. about 12 All yards to go. All on their own 34. The Rattlers set up in the gun. McCullough brings him down for a loss. That blitz was coming pretty hard that time, Kirk. There was just nowhere for the running back to go. Great penetration by this defense. Third and 14 coming up here. Ball on the 32-yard line. The Rattlers with four receivers. Chester steps back to pass, looks, throws this one out to the right. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. They couldn't pick up Number the first down, so they'll have to punt this one away. On the play. Right. He gets it off. Takes it at the 33. And now a slight break in the action as the offense comes out on the field for their next possession. They'll get the ball here at the 37 yard line. First and 10. The Wildcats come out in the wishbone. Smith, weak right. And he's taken down at the 40. And the halfback toss gets maybe three yards. Second, Second and seven, seven coming up here. Ball, ball on the 40 yard line. Yard line. Yeah. Tackle made at the 43 yard line. Smith gets three yards on the play. That'll make it third down. They line up at the 43. It's third and four. They line up in the wishbone. Russell goes with the play fake, rolls to the right. And he's hit as he throws. This one is incomplete. He got the ball away, but it wasn't anywhere near a completion. Nah, he just wanted to avoid the sack. Four and four. The punt team is on the field looking to kick this one away. Number 38 awaits the snap. Number 38 punts and he didn't kick that ball well at all. Calls for the fair catch. Yo, the defense really stepped up to force that three and out on the last drive. Yeah, the offense wasn't clicking on their last possession. We'll see if they have things figured out on this next drive. First down, 10 to go. The Ball on the 28. The Rattlers take over at the 28-yard line. Chester back in the gun. Chester on first down. Wants to throw outside. Tackle at the 33. How about that play? That's a good pickup there. He just dropped back and delivered a nice throw. Second, 
from their own 33 yard line. On the 33 Second yard down. Line. From the gun. Chester drops back. He throws. And it falls incomplete. Now, coach, I know that pass was a bullet, but you still have to look it in and catch it. He tried to catch it. It just bounced right off his hands. Maybe they ought to get him practicing with one of those jug machines in practice. Third That'll at five. least get him used to catching bullet passes. Florida a and M lines up with three receivers. Chester, back to pass. The blitz was the call, but the D lineman was the one who made his way to the quarterback. And he showed great quickness getting off the line into the backfield. This guy can move for a big fella. Fourth and seven. The Rattlers are lining up to punt it away. Taylor is waiting for the snap. He punts it. Number five, field to 31. He made some nice moves on that return. Yeah, but too many, Brad. Boy, he'd love to have another chance at that one. The field is wide open for a score. The first and ten, ball on the 41-yard line. At the 41-yard line. First and ten. Russell will hand it off, makes a move, brought down at the 45. Hampton picks up about four yards on the play. That'll make it second down. From their own 45-yard line, it's second down and six to go. And they make the stop at the 45-yard line. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. They line up at the 45. We've got a third and six. And he's taken down at midfield. They gain five yards there. Fourth and one. Looks like they're going to punt it away here. Beach back deep to return. Number 38 punts it, and it doesn't look like he got all of that one. Beach calls for the fair catch. The offense gets ready to start a new drive. They couldn't get anything going on their last possession. Going three and out. They'll First and ten. At the 25-yard line. First and ten. The Rattlers come out in a shotgun. Chester, back to pass. Looks. He rolls out to the right. He gets rid of it. King knocks it away. Morgan was the intended receiver on that pass. That'll bring up second down. Second From their own 25-yard line. The 25 second yard down. Line. Florida A&M lines up in a shotgun set. Chester drops to throw. He's looking. Stepping up. They bring him down. Third is third down. Ball on the 21-yard line. Four wide receivers in the formation. He looks. He's rolling right. It falls incomplete. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Fourth and 14. Florida a and ready to put this one away. Number five is back deep to return. He gets it off. Number five takes it to the 45. 
The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. The offense looked a bit out of sync on that last possession, Coach. And it was the defense that threw them out of sync, Kirk. Those guys are fired up. Let's see if they can hold them again. They'll no, take over at the 50-yard line. line. First and 10. Russell will hand it off. Brought down at the 49-yard line. Smith gets about a yard on the play. That'll make it second down. Well, only a quarter remains, and we've got a tight game with the score. Bethune-Cookman, 7, Florida A&M, nothing. Second and nine. The Wildcats line up in the Maryland Eye formation. Russell gives it left. Breaks one. He's taken down at the 40. Yep, the defense was blitzing on that play, but it was picked up very nicely by that big old line. And that certainly helped spring him free, Coach. They have to be careful not to over-pursue next time. They line up at the 40. Third down. Shepard tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. Three-yard loss there. Fourth and three. It's fourth down now, and we'll see the punt team. Beach is back deep to return the punt. He punts it. Williams signals for a fair catch. Not a whole lot of success their last time out. Not at all. This offense has to do a better job of staying on the field and giving their defense a chance to catch their breath. They'll start at the nine. We'll start the drive at the nine yard line. First and ten. The Rattlers with four receivers. Gives it off. Wilson gets in the backfield for a loss. Not a very successful run that time, Coach. Did you see his explosion off the defensive line? Woohoo! It seemed like he was in the backfield before the ball was even snapped. He just timed the snap count there and really made a nice play. They Second line up at the 14. five. Second and 14. Florida A&M comes out in the shotgun. Sharp on the draw. Charles tackles him behind the line for a loss on the play. So the fullback loses about a yard. Third From their own four-yard line. Four it's third down at 15 to go. Single set backfield. Chester set to go to the air. Got hit as he threw. Incomplete pass. Incomplete pass. Excellent series by this defense, forcing them to go three and out. And the offense really struggled on this drive. They're going to have to pick it up if they want to move the ball on these guys. Four and 15. The Rattlers are lining up to punt it away. Taylor is waiting for the snap. Punts the ball away. Number five. Fields it to 37. You guys First remember what the Sawmills did the last time they had the ball? Game of they had the ball before? Exactly. It was three and out so fast they had to ask for slow-mo replay to recap it. The Good field, field position the here. Offense. They'll start we'll this start drive inside their the opponent's territory. First and ten. And he stopped behind the line. up at the 35. It's second down. Back to pass. Steps up in the pocket. He throws it. He's got his tight end. 
The quarterback just rifled that one in there for a good game. Boy, he's throwing the football with some pop, isn't he, coach? Hey, if he's not careful, he's going to break his receiver's fingers. Third, Third down two. and two to go. Ball, ball, ball on the 25-yard line. The defense sets up with five defensive linemen. Smith gets the ball outside, tries to juke, and they'll bring him down behind the line. Florida A&M will take a timeout, and they'll have two remaining. Looks like someone went a little too far with the celebration. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Half the distance to the goal, first down. They're inside the 20. Ball on the 13 yard In the red zone again. Let's see if it'll be another touchdown. Russell with the give. Wilder with the tackle at the 10-yard line. Florida A&M will take a timeout. That's their second of the half. They line up at the 10. Second and seven coming up here. They hand it off. Touchdown, Wildcats. That could be the ball game, folks. Not so fast, my friend. They're in a lot of trouble. They need two scores and need them fast. But I've seen the craziest things happen in college football. They'll line up for the extra point here. And he converts the extra point. So we take a moment to check out the Pontiac drive summary. Thune-Cookman is lining up to kick this one off. Hayward and number seven back deep to return. Short kickoff. Number seven takes the 3.1. So what do you think about this situation, fellas? At this point, I think this game looks like it's out of reach, Coach. <laughs> Not so fast, Kirk. It's only a two-possession game, and these guys won't give up. A quick score, an onside kick, and another quick score, and we're talking about a completely different situation. Throws it out there. Caught. Nothing going on that one. Right. They line up 10. at the 32. Ball on the 30 it's second and 10. Yeah. He drops back. Let's it fly. He snags it. Henry runs out at the 46. That's a first down right there. Yeah, if I was a defense, I think I would man up on these guys next time. Yeah, this quarterback is very good at recognizing zone coverage and then finding the open receiver. Chester drops back on first down. Chester passes to the middle. It's his tight end. Touchdown. And we've got a game on our hands. Yes, we do. That was a big, big score right there. They're going to need one more just like it. You know, they're going to have a big decision when they line up for the kickoff. Onside or kick it away and try to get a quick three and out. They'll line up for the extra point here. Splits the uprights with the extra point. And here's the Pontiac drive summary.
Florida A&M. Lined up in an onside kick formation. Here's the onside kick. So that onside might have been their last chance. Well, you can't blame these guys for trying, but you never know. The other team could make a mistake. We have our Coca-Cola players of the game, and it's really no surprise. Congratulations. Bethune Cookman lines up in the power eye set. And down he goes at the 42 yard line. And the fullback plows ahead for maybe a yard. They line up at the 42. Ball in second and nine. Bethune Cookman lines up in the double wing. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. Florida A&M will take their final timeout. It's third down and six to go. Ball on the 45-yard line. And he is drilled at the 42. They lose three yards there. This one away. Hayward back deep to return. He punts it. Hayward fields it at the 27. What do you expect from this offense at this point, fellas? Well, the old kicker could stop warming up because it's forward down football now. You got that right, Coach. The defense did their job. Now it's the offense's turn to try to make this a ball game again. Henry, alone in the backfield, moves up in the pocket, tosses short, and it's caught. Ballard tackles him at Number the 37. Three, an eight-yard gain. Gain of eight on the play. He hustles the troops to the line. So this defensive skirmish is all over. Any final thoughts on this one, Coach? Well, this one had me on the edge of my seat all game long. Bethune-Cookman really got all they asked for and more in this contest. Great job by both teams. We look forward to calling more games of NCAA Football 2007. But until then, our final score in this one, Bethune-Cookman 14, Florida A&M 7. I'm Brad thank Nessler along with Lee Corso and Kirk Herbstreit. I'd like to thank you for playing, and we'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.